back to Lessons Learned. It's Monday Quilt Chat. I'm Sherry and I'm glad you stopped by to step into my quilty world and see what's going on over here. I hope you had a great weekend. It was a nice weekend. Uh, didn't do much quilting in here. I had plans to do the friendship quilt, baste it, and start uh, quilting on that and did not happen. I found myself a little bit exhausted and I was doing some things outside as well and here I am on well soon it will be Monday by the time you're watching this uh, trying to regroup and get my sojo back. <laughs> it doesn't leave me for very long so I will be doing a lot of quilty things this week. Blue is barking outside because there are some sirens going on uh, across the way. I think maybe there's some sort of um, drive or something, you know, where they stop people uh, in the middle of the road to collect change and things like that. I think it's the fire department and every so often we hear sirens and he's been howling and barking and carrying on. So you may hear <laughs> some of that throughout this video. So uh, I was sitting here and going through my week as usual and um, I think I'm going to have to double up a little bit this week and really get serious and find some energy somewhere even if I feel like I don't have it because I have a lot of things uh, I need to do and I want to do and I have some other things I want to start. So uh, I've started writing it down because that's what helps me to keep on track and not get lost in my creative thoughts and end up not doing anything. Does that happen to you? It happens to me quite often. So uh, barn star blocks. I uh, showed you on Friday that I got the two uh, number three blocks done so I need to do the number four blocks and that is this little dude right here and I need to make two of those and I think these are 16 inch. So I think I can get both of them done. Those 24 inch blocks that I just got through with, uh, the blocks one, two, and three, we did two 24 inch blocks on each of those. Those took me all day just to do one. So I'm thinking maybe things will start to speed up a little bit on this and uh, be more doable to do two of them in a day <laughs> instead of just one. So uh, this is called the Tulip Star and uh, that's what I'm gonna do today starting today I'm going to try to do both of those and get those done um, the happy days stars those are the little uh, setting stars for the happy days I didn't bring that book over here but I showed those to you on Friday as well and I only have five of those done and I need 24 so on Tuesday I'm going to hit those pretty hard and maybe do some serious chain piecing to get those done <laughs> and then that block of the month for the month of uh, May it will be over so um, that'll be that'll be a good feeling I know that my Nantucket summer block is coming any day now and um, it'll be the last uh, full block on that block of the month so I need to um, you know get this first month of happy days out of the way so that I can concentrate on finishing up that block of the month and uh, There'll probably be more to it than I realize, but you know, I'm, I'm going to want a couple of weeks to to work on that and and wrap it up, so to speak, at least the top, anyways. This week, I'm going to have the uh, Paducah Quilt Show video up for you on Wednesday. Um, I took a lot of footage of the, of the quilts themselves. Um, so this time, I'm going to. Last year, when I did it, some of you. Um, didn't care for the way that I did that as far as making you dizzy because I was m moving constantly with the camera. So this year I tried to kind of focus in on groupings of quilts and that is a clip and then I'll go to the other next set of quilts and film those. And so we're going to have to connect all those together and I'll probably do a voiceover with it. So that'll be probably a lot more pleasant to watch. And hopefully I can give you a little more information about some of the quilts, not all of them, but uh, some of the quilts so that uh, you can kind of appreciate what I really saw there. So that'll be coming out on Wednesday. Pray for me on that because that's the plan for my Wednesday video and I have 
I feel like I have to get it done. Plus, I don't want so much more time going by before you, before you actually get to see that. And at the same time, I wanted to uh, do a quality job on it for you as best as I know how. Uh, so that you'll enjoy that. So um, that's coming out. And then on that day as well, on Wednesday, when you're seeing that video, that's the day that I'm going to sandwich that friendship quilt because I did not do that this weekend, even though I said on Friday I was going to do it. I, I did not do it. Some days you just don't feel like rolling around on the floor basting a quilt. And this past weekend was one of those times. <laughs> But I'm going to leave that to Wednesday, a little bit earlier in the week. And maybe, possibly, who knows, it'll be quilted and bound for Finish It Friday this week. That would be awesome. And I feel like uh, having failed a couple of times now on doing that, it's going to be like a three three strikes you're out. <laughs> so I can't, I can't get struck out this time. I have to, I have to do that. Now here, uh, I didn't put anything down for the weekend, by the way. We'll, we'll just see where I get with all of this first before I write anything else down. But uh, I want to show you um, the quilt for this week. It's called Imagine. Definitely not my color scheme that I usually use, but I like natural colors and um, earth tone shades which these are very very intricate quilt imagine by Mary Lou Kerr of Valentine Nebraska says the Jacqueline J De Jong design imagine interested Mary Lou she shopped for fall colors in boutiques added many from her stash and had fun piecing the stars Making the hundreds of flying geese using the paper piecing method seemed endless, but perseverance accomplished the goal. The quilt was custom machine quilted by May Rachon, including background quilting to resemble a rock wall. It was finished just in time to be included in the Black Hills Quilt Show in Rapid City, South Dakota. And here's the middle star right here. You can see a little bit better there the batiks that she used and the intricacy of that construction there. So that's called Imagine. I can see that done up in a lot of different colors to make it very different. Uh, you could go a lot of different ways with this pattern. It's called Imagine. Uh, the pattern itself is hundreds of flying geese. Ooh. Flying geese aren't my favorite, but sometimes you just got to do them and you got to do a bunch of them. So she did and she got her quilt in the show. Very nice. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Friday I was going to start a, a new project, a small one, kind of like the library quilt. You know how I was able to just jump in and get that done. I think this one will be um, that way too. It's a panel. And this is a kit that I got from So yeah. And I know that there's pitfalls with quilt kits, but yes, I did it. I bought another quilt kit. But it's called Songbird Serenade. This is what it looks like. And it's uh, Art Journal Fabrics by Jay Wecker Frisch. Can't go wrong with Jay Wecker Frisch. Say that three times in a row. Jay Wecker Frisch. Jay Wecker Frisch. Jay Wecker Frisch. You might actually learn how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Riley Blake designed this. Uh, or this is, you know, Riley Blake put it out for her art journal. So let me show you the, the panel. Some of you may have gotten this when Soya was selling it, but you can find it on other sites as well. There are all the birds. I don't know if you're seeing them all in the frame. I think, I think you almost, yeah, I think you're almost seeing all of them there. I love birds of all kinds. And these are actually little postcard looking uh, artwork that she did 
and I just think it'll make a lovely little wall hanging and in that kit we have uh, these two fabrics that black and white one and then that cream and black one actually no that's wrong we have the uh, the black sashing and then the white the white I didn't look at that right so black sashing and then the white this is something else here I think that is one of them though. Well, I turned it upside down, didn't I? So it's gonna be, that black is, will be used for the sashing and then the binding looks like. And then the black and white music fabric will be uh, the big outer border. Easy peasy, right? Let's do that. I can do that. That'll be a nice Friday project after I share with you the Finish It Friday uh, photos. I can jump into that and get one of my little kits done here because we don't want things piling up on us, do we? I have quite the stash of things, but everything so far is, is fitting in its place. So as long as I go at this rhythm of doing things, I think I can keep things neat and organized over there where my most of my fabric is. <laughs> Last week I mentioned um, our Enjoy in Life. It's a YouTube channel and um, it was a shout out that I gave to a lady who does quilting and uh, she and her husband live in their RV and they're traveling around the United States and some of you couldn't find her um, her, her YouTube channel and if you go back to that video of last Monday it's in the description box and if you don't know where the description box is it's where the title of the video is not over my face title but the one under here that appears just in black letters under that you can see a dot 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 and more or more dot 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 one or the other so hit that more button and then over on the side or the bottom or somewhere, depending on what kind of a device you're looking at, if you scroll through that information there, you will find the, the actual YouTube channel that you can click on and it'll take you right there. And then you can go through her videos and find whatever videos you want to watch. But uh, if you can't, for some reason, find it that way and you want to search through YouTube, just put in um, EPP by machine and it will come up in the search. It'll be there with other people who, who have that title, but you'll be able to see it there. So uh, I did actually do some of it. Now I had hand sewn some of these long pieces together, all these are hand sewn. So I thought, you know what, this, these will be good to, to trust, try this method out on with the machine. And I don't know if you can tell, can you tell that I did these on machine? I'm getting them, I'm going to get them close. Can you tell I did that on the machine? You can't, can you? You can't tell. So, if you're, you've been intimidated by hand sewing or your arthritis is so bad you just can't do hand sewing, but you want to do a hexagon quilt, go over there and, and watch her do that. And you can get your settings just right for your machine to be able to pull this off. And um, it was a good experiment. I'm, I'm happy with it. And I'm not going to say I'm never going to do hand sewing again on my hexes. Um, but I might do some machine sewing on it just to kind of move things along. So uh, seriously, try that out. Nothing wrong with that because think about it. Will you hand, hand quilt that quilt when you're done? Some of you might and that's, that's awesome. But mostly we, you know, in this day and age, we use our machines even if we're just doing straight line quilting we're, we're just going to use our sewing machine to do that or if you have a long arm you're going to long arm it so uh, just because your uh, hexes are done by hand doesn't mean the whole entire project has to be done by hand so uh, yeah it just 
you you got the freedom to go and do it that way if you want. So check her out. Check her out. I did. I tried it. I liked it. I will do it again. <laughs> All right. I am also involved in a swap group. I don't know if you all are familiar with swap groups. It's a Facebook swap group. And you get paired up with somebody and a uh, keyword or some kind of clues are given as far as what you swap with that person. And of course, it's it's a quilting crafting uh, Facebook group. So uh, I got that information this past week or so and I need to work on that as well the the word is honey so that means with each letter of that word we have a scavenger hunt so we're going to uh, create something or um, find something that we want to gift to our uh, swap partner with those letters so uh, I've got some ideas, and I'm trying to make those come to fruition. So if my partner is listening to, <laughs> to this video, things are going on up here. Don't worry. We, we're we going to have something. <laughs> and I'm sure you're working hard, too, on your, your end. Uh, I'm starting to see some things on, on the Facebook group already, so I need to get busy. It's, it's amazing how some people just jump right in there and, and get the thing done. But I really have to think about what I really want to do, you know, it has to be something kind of, kind of special, you know, so I'm getting closer. I'm getting, getting very close. Okay. What else do we have going on? I asked you guys to give me ideas on sew alongs and here's what we've come up with so far. Uh, disappearing nine patch, a popsicle quilt, a double snowball, which, if I know what a double snowball is, it means that you snowball it twice, right? Like you would have your snowball square, and then you'd have two, you'd have a strip, and then you'd have another strip on that, or a corner, and then, well, it'd be like a striped corner. That sounded interesting to me. Uh, something with panels and a Jacob's Ladder. So if you all have any other ideas, keep sending them because I'm not ready yet to get the sew along going. And um, the more ideas we have, the more, the better. The more, the better. The more ideas, the better. How about that? So there's that and what else? Timu, the Timu video, wow. The response I got from you on the Timu video uh, really knocked my socks off because that video as of this moment has gotten 14,000 views so <laughs> I know Timu is really uh, popular right now and there's a lot of videos about it um, I didn't know what it would do I didn't know if it would you know do anything at all I thought it might just be one of those videos that sat there with just a few hundred views but Wow, and welcome new subscribers from, from that video. I've gotten probably at least 50 new subscribers off of that video alone. So thank you, thank you so much. And if any of you saw that video and you're watching me now uh, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because 60% of you are not subscribed. So look down there and see if your subscribe thing is in gray. If it's not in gray, if it's in some other color, uh, hit it because uh, that means you're not subscribed and that way you'll be notified of all the videos if you hit that bell notification after you touch the subscribe button so so yeah and I got a lot of mixed uh, comments on it as well which I love comments good or bad I love I love all the comments you know what they say um, bad press is better than no press I'll take the bad press too <laughs> I'm not scared <laughs> you can tell me anything and I'm not scared. So um, some people were kind of adamant about not buying things from China and I'm not going to get into anything political or uh, prejudice or anything like that, which, you know, none of the comments were really along that line. They weren't strong opinions or anything, but some of you really do try to, to buy uh, American-made things, and I understand the benefits of that as well. Um, 
but uh, it was just really interesting to see what you had to say about it and how many of you have uh, bought from Timu uh, before this video and are continuing to buy from them. And I think what I reaped from, from this kind of experiment, now they didn't sponsor me, I just bought 10 things and had a budget of $20. So an average of $2 per thing. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I can afford to do that to make a video. So that's what I did. And uh, some of the things I would use and some of my wooden, as you, as you saw, and I truly believe, I truly believe that uh, you get what you pay for. And that goes with things made anywhere, anywhere in the world. You know, there's, there are quality things everywhere and there are inferior things everywhere. Um, I kind of like to support local uh, people, if I can, people that I know, you know, uh, because, you know, they support me too. They've supported me in other businesses that I've had. So, you know, that kind of goes a long way. But, uh, you know, sometimes there's some things that it just really doesn't matter. And if, if you decide to to get it overseas somewhere, you know, not even China, but some other country that is able to produce it for much less. Um, you know, we don't know what they're doing to be able to, to do that, but we can't solve all the problems in the world. And, you know, what I say is, is you do you, you do what you got to do. So, you know, I don't think anybody is under any you know, harsh judgment about buying from them or not buying from them. At least on my end of things, you're not. So, you know, buy quality when you can. Support whoever you want to support. That's your right. And, um, yeah, we're all, we're, we can all just live together in one big happy crafty family here. <laughs> so, uh, they did reach out to me. Uh, Timu reached out to me and said, uh, we liked your video and are glad that you are, of course, you know, buying from them, but uh, we'll see what, uh, what kind of ideas they come up with on a collaboration. I may or may not do another uh, haul from Timu. So that remains to be seen. The ball's in their court right now. So uh, we'll... We'll just, we'll just have to see, but don't leave me because you don't like Timu. I don't, I'm not, you know, wholeheartedly supporting Timu or wholeheartedly supporting China or wholeheartedly supporting the United States or Vietnam or Mexico or any place else that we buy things from. So, um, you know, I'm just here doing my thing. Uh, quilting and crafting and sewing and sharing the knowledge that I have with you and we don't really have to get into you know not listening to or not watching channels that may have a different philosophy than us we you know just come here for for the for the fun for the um, you know for the interesting things that I try to put out and uh, and, and just leave it at that but feel free to comment however you want. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> all right. So I guess I need to drink some caffeine and get going this week. And I hope you guys can get going in your sewing rooms too. And if you're working full time and you only have the evenings, just uh, take a little bit of time after dinner and, and sew a little something or straighten up your, your room. I did not do my cleaning last week, like I said, either. I got to put that on my list. <laughs> Keep your room clean, too. All right, we'll see you on Wednesday for the Paducah Quilt Show. Bye. One more thing I forgot. Don't go away yet. This, this kaleidoscope quilt. <laughs> I ordered this material. Wrong color. Right thing, wrong color. I need this color. See the difference? Big difference. I thought it was berry, but no, it's candy. I think it's called candy. So I had to reorder this. So I won't be working on this this week, probably. I might. I've got enough materials that I could do some of these things, like this part. 
and I've got a few of these that I can make these triangles with so I may uh, put some of this on my schedule too to get started on it I still just have one row left of four big stars so just in case you're wondering that's what happened I'm only human I made a mistake okay we'll see you next week bye, bye.